My throat hurts when I sing. What do I do? Well, there's lots of reasons that your throat can hurt. Um, first thing is, is the amount of pressure you're putting on the throat. Okay, of course, no brainer. But a lot of people, let's say they scream or they growl, there's that reason a throat hurts. And then there's another reason that a throat hurts, maybe just from over singing or singing too long incorrectly. Um, but all of this actually boils down to one thing. It's called open throat technique. And what open throat technique is training the throat to stay open. Now, I've been talking about open throat technique for about 15 years now, and I see people, you know, starting to talk about it a little bit, like as though they really understand it and know what that means. Um, and it's kind of funny because they really don't. It's like when they talk about diaphragmatic support and they, they don't even show it, but they talk about it like textbook stuff. They read it, but they can't duplicate it. So open throat technique is the concept of literally keeping the throat open and maintaining this vocal tract of a good open throat technique so that vowels shift very small from one vowel to another and the throat has a good uh, uh, freedom in the throat uh, when we're singing vowels and also consonants because there's slamming consonants. So we're going to go through a few of these things. The first thing is, is I want you guys that are having this problem, I want you to sing one note on an ah vowel with me. Okay, now I'm gonna kind of take it up a little bit without warming up because I don't even want you to warm up to do this because I wanna reduplicate the problem that you're having so you'll feel the sensation and then how to pull back from that sensation to a healthy sensation, okay? So most people, whether they're growling, screaming, singing, singing too much, whatever it is, trying to get distortion especially, um, what they'll do is they'll try to lean into a sound by closing off the throat like this. So I'm just gonna go to an ah vowel. Right, and there's this pressure, incredible pressure that's mounted in the throat. Now you're gonna say, well, wait a minute, Ken, I'm looking to get distortion or I'm, I'm looking for tone or I'm looking for whatever that is, but I'm answering your question, why does my throat hurt, what do I do? So we're gonna start really light and airy and we're gonna go, I just want you to do that, kind of like you're somewhere between your chest voice and your head voice, you're mixing it, you're using a lot of air. And by the way, the overuse of air can also dry out the chords tremendously. In fact, we don't want to do that. This is just by way of practicing this so you can tell the sensation that I'm talking about. So you're gonna do this, in fact, let's take it down a little bit. So I want you to have the sensation of like always floating on a cushion of air, okay? now. We are gonna compress the sound. I have a whole section in my, by the way, I have a singing course, it's called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else. You can find it right here at kentamplinvocalacademy.com where I cover all of this stuff thoroughly to get you out of these bad habits and put you into some really good habits. I have a free singing forum over there with over 25,000 people, singers, all uh, getting good at this. You should be getting good at this too, okay? Let's do it again, ah, vowel. I just want you to do that a few times. Now I want you to do it on A. Real airy, real light. Now do it on A. Now do it on E. We're nice and gentle and airy. Use your stomach for your support. O. What we're doing right now is we're training the throat to stay open and not pinch and squeeze. So a lot of people, you know, why does my voice crack or why do I feel like I'm pinching and squeezing when I go, you know, go out high to sing notes? This is why you haven't trained your throat for open throat technique, okay? So now we're gonna do this and I, I wanna give you the liberty to lean into it and get more actual voice resonance out of the sound. So instead of ah, real airy, Go ahead and lean into it a little bit, but I want you to get a mirror out, a handheld mirror, and I want you to take a look at the back of your throat. And I want you to get the maximum space you can by dropping the tongue and opening the back of the throat as much as you can on an ah vowel. We'll start on ah. ah. See, that's different than the air I was using. Ah was the first one. This is leaning into the sound a little bit, adding a little bit of, of resonance to the sound. Now let's do A ah with the same, just a little bit of resonance. 
Now let's do A. Hey. Let's do E. Hey. Let's do O. O. Let's do O. O. Okay. Now, if you notice, I don't sound like I've, I've got a, any kind of stricture or constriction in my throat at all. It sounds very smooth and open. But then you say, but can I want to get distortion? I'll get to that. I understand. It's why a lot of people's throat hurts because they're over singing, over compressing, pinching and squeezing, grabbing the vocal folds and they're stretching them as tight as they can and then they're pushing all this air across the cord like a flamethrower of air drying out the vocal folds and they wonder why they feel like they have singer's throat or sore throat. By the way, singer's throat can also come just from singing a lot. It happens to me if I sing for five, six, seven hours for several days back to back, I'll feel a little sore. Um, by the way, sore isn't necessarily always bad. It's hoarse that's bad. Sore, you go to a gym, you work out, if you're doing it correctly, yeah, you get a little sore, you know, if you're working out all hard and long. Um, it's if you start to go hoarse, that's that's not a good thing. But anyway, so getting back to this, I wanna go back to that same ah, and we can lean into it just a little bit more. But folks, trust me on this, this has to mature or maturate over time. You don't wanna do this too quickly, okay? But I am showing the steps on how we get to the tone and things that you wanna do. So we started with ah, we moved a little bit into a little more resonance. Ah, now I'm gonna add a little bit more resonance to the sound. Ah, hear that? You can go through the vowels. Ah, But I want you to always have the sensation like you're throwing a little H into the sound or like you're floating that sound on a little bit of a cushion of air. Not too much, not too much to draw out the chords, but just enough to keep that throat open, okay? Now watch this. I'm gonna add a little bit more resonance into the sound. Ah, hey. kind of go, uh, 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 almost like a little sense of fry. Now where people get in trouble is they rely on that sound of uh, fry and they constrict the throat, they choke off the cords and they don't understand that they were supposed to train the throat to stay open with a smooth velvety tone first and then let that mature over time where you can lean into that sound. So let's go up a little bit more. La, ha, yeah, oh. Right, and you'd say, oh, you're gonna kill yourself with that sound. No, actually you won't, because what I'm doing is I'm showing you that I've matured my voice over time, and I'm able to get to that sound safely. This is the difference as we start to approach distortion, which I'm gonna do a whole session, section on that, but as we start to approach a safe sound on distortion, why I'm gonna be 58 years this old, years, 58 years old this year. <laughs> Just watch my brain and I can't do a thing with it. Um, and I've never sung better. So I wanna move this up even higher. La So I can get that desired effect and, and you know, different degrees and different shades of that distortion because I actually don't like to, you know, just growl at people like Dio all the time or whatever. I like, yeah, 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 yeah. I like just enough for tone. I like, yeah, 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 right. And by the way, I do have several tutorials on distortion. I'll put those in the description. I want you guys to check those out because I can give you blood curdling screams using false vocal folds, etc. But my goal right now is to teach and show you guys how to first start with a clean tone, stay clean for a while, learn that technique so you have the ability to understand how to keep open throat technique first before you start to move into uh, straining the throat and answering the question as to why your throat hurts, all right? 
Check out my next video.